Peter Bernard continues our team coverage live in Tampa. Peter. Good evening, Gail. The internet video of the beheading of Stephen Sotloff is sending waves of disgust throughout the entire nation. Here in the U.S., including here at News Channel 8, we do not air gruesome video like that. The Islamic State terrorists have no such filter. They proudly show off their barbaric acts and don't seem to care what people think. Roy Peter Clark, an expert on media ethics at the Pointer Institute, tells me with that in mind, it's important to remember Stephen Sotloff ventured into Syria with a sense of mission and purpose. He was there to bring us news about a part of the world in which Americans have a vital interest. Clark doesn't believe the Sotloff video will get any results for ISIS, but could put the U.S. in a difficult position. We wind up allying ourselves with people ordinarily who we would not uh, want to associate with. Why? Because these people are worse. Remember how you felt after the 9-11 terrorist attacks? Anger? Hatred? Clark believes it's important to stay focused on getting justice for the men killed at the hands of terrorists. Sotloff's death is hitting home. I look upon this as um, the execution, as, a, as a the death of a, of a brother. But Clark doesn't think journalists will shy away from dangerous hotspots. And Clark believes that news organizations will likely double up to protect journalists in the fields and hotspots like that. He equates it to soldiers and medics. Gail? All right, Peter. Peter Bernard, live in Tampa tonight. Thank you. And our coverage continues tomorrow morning on News Channel 8. Look for live reports from the campus of UCF in Orlando at 6 a.m. We also will continue to bring you the latest information on the News Channel 8 app.